my co-workers run to the shop. So I'm looking after Lily. She's being so good. It is so hot today. What is going on? I'm sweating. I don't know. Like I wanted to wear a jumper because, you know, October. And I'm re-watching American Horror Story, which if you don't know, American Horror Story is my favorite TV series ever. I have watched that show potentially six or seven times. Like I love it so much. I will always be, I will always be a Tate Langdon fan girl. And even last Halloween, I went as Moira from American Horror Story Murder House as my Halloween costume, the maid. Okay, Lily, you need to relax. So. <laughs> Me and Bestie here, we're just chilling. Oh. <laughs> My lunch but i was feeling okay this morning you know i woke up i was absolutely exhausted i'm just feeling so tired at the moment i'm feeling very like burnt out like i just have no energy but i woke up this morning i felt okay yesterday i was a bit i don't know i was fine i just felt really like jittery but not like like hyper but then also really tired i don't know how to explain it but i did loads of apprenticeship work this morning I'm doing mont uh, I'm doing a task on customer life cycle. So I spent the morning doing that, which was good, but obviously it was a lot of focus. I literally couldn't even listen to music because I was like, this is distracting me too much. And also I just find it really difficult to like start something. Like I was really struggling to like just like make a start. I just did a little workout. I did legs and bum. And then I did some yoga and like, it's made me feel worse. Like I feel awful. And I don't know why sometimes when I exercise and I get really out of breath and hot, it really triggers me. And I find it really difficult to not feel like I'm gonna have a panic attack because of how exercising sometimes makes me feel. So I think that's what it is. And I'm trying to like, in my head be like, okay, this is why I feel this way. Trying to like rationalize it because I started panicking. I was like, oh my God, there's something wrong with me. Like I'm ill. Like something ain't right and then i also think i'm just hungry like i just ate my sandwich and i'm feeling like a little bit better i was watching madeline argy's podcast this morning actually on being diagnosed with adhd and what she said about having one emotion and feeling like you're never gonna be able to feel another emotion is so real and also i was when i was talking to my therapist last week i was like telling her about how awful my previous week was and i was trying to work out why and we were trying to work out why i was feeling that way and then i was telling her oh like this time two years ago, like I was going through like an awful breakup. And this time a year ago, I was in the actual pits of hell at uni. So I think my body just like has like a bad association with this time of year. I'm literally so sick of dating apps. Like I match with someone, talk to them for like a week and then they'll ghost me. What the fuck is that all about? Like it literally ruins my day, my week, my mood, my everything. I'm like, great. No one's ever gonna love me ever again. Literally scratch everything I said two minutes ago. I'm in such a good mood. <laughs> Why? Oh, because I just spent money. <laughs> I need to literally like get a grip. Like I need to, why am I like tearing up? I'm so happy. <laughs> Basically, Heaven Mark Jacobs came out of a Donnie Darko collection. They posted it on their Instagram yesterday. And I was like, the whole of today I've been refreshing the website because they didn't post a, like a time when they were releasing it. And in my head, it's gonna be sold out straight away. So I was on the website all day whilst I've been doing my work. It's been in the background, just me refreshing it. And I was literally just messaging my friend being like, I literally cannot stop refreshing this page. Then I refreshed it, everything pops up and I was like, shit. I was literally about to spend like over 200 pounds on this jumper, but I was like, I think that's a bit silly. So I just bought the t-shirt, which was 100 pounds, but it's so worth it, it's so worth it. Scratch whatever I said. 10 20 minutes ago i'm fine currently just sorting out the prop photography box and look what i just found kind of a slow when i stand up and sit down i injure myself because i'm wearing these 
and I keep forgetting that like I'm not like close to the ground when I sit down I just keep like banging down which is really good and I'm setting up a little photography corner let me show you here a photography corner that I'm gonna create and I need to take lots of photos but like the setup is like the longest part like i need to get so many lights out and like set them all up i can literally hear children screaming outside and as much as i'm like ugh, shut the fuck up like kind of want to join them whatever they're doing i want to join i feel like today my outfit is really giving like teen disney channel star who's like turned to a singer like a pop singer hey okay. I'm about to leave and go meet Sophie. I am so excited to just like sit in the cinema and chat afterwards and we're gonna go to Gales and get a sweet treat of course. Literally I'm such a creature of habit like I'm so glad me and Sophie are the same like I said to her last night I was like where do you want to go get a sweet treat tomorrow like do you want to go somewhere new and she was like Gales and I was like of course like yeah I'm really excited it's also a really like rainy gray day so i'm really glad i'm doing something because otherwise i feel like i would be real depressed just in bed all day so i'm glad that i'm getting out of the house and doing something okay here's my outfit feeling so cute this skirt's from urban i literally love it i want this kind of skirt in black i'm thinking i'm gonna need a jacket as well Hmm. Are we thinking leather or are we thinking fur? Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is it. Love. I also am wearing liquid eyeliner today and I haven't put liquid eyeliner on in so long. I literally have been doing like a brown wing for the longest time. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god, Renegade. Mom. Renegade. <laughs> Why am I like starting? Is it illegal to <laughs> Yes! Thanks. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Today I'm going to be talking about the importance of medium ugly white oil. <laughs> okay, post um, Haunting in Venice review. Candle review. Um, I cosplayed as the haunting. And I, no, you're the ghost and I'm the haunt. Love, uh, love. Okay. Peace and clarity. Kind of good. Kind of neat. She's it. nothing of the sort. <laughs> She's not gonna give me peace or clarity. It's vanilla. Guys, this should be giving. Right. <laughs> Sandalwood tobacco. Is it bad? They haven't even tried. No. Like, it's nice, what but the it's not bad. What the fuck is that? What kind of a candle is Incense that? Incense cones. Ooh. Incense cones. I can't tell if that's nice or not. Mm. It smells good for like a second and then it's like oh. And then like your senses kick in. Okay, right, we need to find at least one good one. Like I wanna oh my buy god, this something. Got a pussy on oh my god. Oh. Mm, mm, actually it's alright. Cedar and spice. No. Golden spice. Why okay, that's so actually not bad. Zoomed in. It's got like an after smell of like poo. <laughs> give us something give us something good. Oh, Hello pumpkin. Ones. Pumpkin spec PSL season. Calming waves, but look at the top. <laughs> ah <laughs> actually. <laughs> that's kinda good. Ooh, that good. 8 99 I don't know if I want it. That's good, but that's not awesome. That's calming waves. That's they just not stock awesome. a that's pumpkin. Like, it's giving the top. like um okay, it's giving kissing booth three beach house. Ooh, but okay. crackling wick. That's not okay, you know what this smells like? This smells like your armpits when you put deodorant on it, it's starting to come off a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, no, no, no. Okay, okay guys, right. <laughs> hey guys. Golden milk. Um, I'm already oh. regretting this choice. Mommy's <laughs> milk? Nah, that's just a Oh my god, I need every I need to, Ooh, I I need to get you a candle just called like mommy's milk. <laughs> literally got so much done today it's been very productive it's been very busy and i honestly feel awful i don't know what was going on yesterday i was really i was not having a good moment the whole day no not the whole day i just feel exhausted like i feel like me and sophie were talking about this i don't remember the last time i didn't film 
like one ounce of anxiety and it's just exhausting and it's exhausting when it takes over and you work so hard to try and like not let it take over and it still does even after you've done all the work it's just like cool like i'll go fuck myself do you know what i mean I woke up this morning and i was just like so can i just stay in bed i started literally crying as i was getting ready that's when you know shit's rough and what else was i gonna say why am i anxious is embarrassing and it's like why you know but i done my day basically i'm gonna leave in a sec and go have a look at the vintage clothes before i go home even though i do not need to buy anything else i did go on urban outfitters like 20 minutes ago there's about 20 things in my wish list and i was so brave and i only bought one thing because i thought you know what i'm gonna treat myself i've had a fairly tough week so let me do some retail therapy you know what other way would i help myself apart from spending money I'm so tired like i'm so ready for bed and i'm so ready to not do anything all weekend and just watch films and watch american horror story did i even tell you what i thought of the film yesterday me and sophie went to see a haunting in venice and it was actually so good like we both really enjoyed it it was quite jumpy like in the cinema like i don't really I, I wasn't scared it wasn't like scary but there was quite a lot of like jump jumpy moments me and Sophie were both a bit like <laughs> but it was really really good I gave it four stars I enjoyed it just love going to cinema to be honest it kind of made me want to go to Venice and it was just me and Sophie and these two old ladies in the cinema basically a private private viewing really want to go to a pumpkin patch and like have a photo shoot in the pumpkins like with a cute autumn -y full outfit and yeah the weather's been all over the place today like i woke up this morning it was freezing hence the beanie hence the long sleeve and honestly i'm so happy it is like beanie season because one thing about me is i'm gonna put a beanie on i love a hat because then when your hair looks shit no one can see like when my hair's a bit frizzy no one can fucking see and I just love a beanie. My outfit today is very much giving skater boy who would ruin your life, who would message you and be like showering without me. Do you know what I mean? That's the vibe. I'm gonna literally go in a sec because I've done everything I need to do. And I'm really fucking tired. I really do find like myself embarrassing not in like a, any of the ways you would think like that i'm embarrassing but more so in the fact that i feel like literally one week i'm like yes life is good life is great i've never been happier i've never gonna feel sadness ever again and then the next week it's like so i've been thinking about killing myself and i'm in the pits of hell like a bit of stability would be real nice there was this one guy i was talking to for like a week on hinge and he literally was like, yeah, I just like, like being with someone who's stable. And me, a liar, was like, oh my God, totally. Like, I totally agree. And like, I'm so stable. Like, I am so, you know, just like, I'm fine. Um, don't know why I felt the need to lie. And also that's kind of a crazy sentence to come out of someone's mouth. Like, yeah, I can only be with someone who's like stable. Why don't you delete dating apps and like go to therapy like why don't you reconsider why you're single because i don't think many people are fucking stable especially women am i just salty <laughs> i'm like yes because he fucking ghosted me oh i have had such a fun day today so far i didn't think i was going to be doing anything today really but me and my mom went into town went to tk maxx and went to sainsbury's and i bought a candle and i bought couple other bits which was fun i love going to tk maxx i actually found a really nice candle as well because when me and sophie went they all smell they all smell like shit to be honest but i love a candle that smells like a man's aftershave so that is what i bought and that is what i found in it, it smells so good and i came back baked made pumpkin spice cookies went for a little walk tidied my room and now i'm watching films and then i'm gonna go do a workout and some yoga in a little bit and yeah i'm in much higher spirits than i have been this week and it just feels nice to know that this weekend i'm just doing really chill things and yeah that is about it i hope you've had a good week and if you haven't that's okay because neither have i and i'm only just feeling okay now like i'm feeling like i'm doing things that make me happy you know baking love baking love going and buying candles love going for walks 
love watching film then next week i'm going and having a consultation for laser hair removal and seeing sophie of course and that's it i think that's my only plan next week apart from working and then oh yeah we're going to the ivy asia on sunday for my brother's birthday hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you next sunday with another new one bye